Hey guys, we had the semen rep pop in last week. I think um, I think it was last week anyway. And they were demoing a few new products, and they had these the FBP LCL5. Uh, this is a sample version of one of their cables. So it's basically just a regular duplex LCLC optical cable, right? It looks pretty standard. And again, this is just a sample piece, right? They have a cap at the end. And this one is multi mode, 50 micron laser optimized, which uh, the fiber is not really the interesting piece. The interesting piece is um, how it actually connects. It's this special connector, right? So it looks fairly standard for the most part, regular LC. Only whenever you plug it into a coupler, it's held in pretty tight, right? If you pull it by the cable, it's not going to come out. It's got the normal squeeze type connectors, but you see this large outside connector is blocking it. So how do you get that loose? You grab it by kind of this body, this housing right here, and you pull it. And when you do, you can see it depress those ends and it comes free. So when you have big fat man hands, big sausage fingers like me, and you're trying to get into that bulkhead when it's really tight, you can actually grab this connector and be able to kind of finagle it out fairly easily to get it loose, right? So that's one thing that's pretty cool. The other part about <clears throat> these connectors is that you can swap, send, and receive on these fairly easily, right? So whenever you're turning up a new connection and you've got it plugged in from the carrier and it won't come up, hmm, nine times out of ten probably, it's you need to swap, send, and receive, right? So you accidentally have the transmit pin on your fibers, uh, transmit going to transmit, so you just need to swap them. While on an LC connector, you would bend and kind of snap the little connector apart and then just move them around and then plug them back in. LCs tend to get a little bit more difficult. Well, they've sort of simplified this. You've got a little window on the back that you pop off, and when you do that, it allows you to slide this out nice and easily, right? So without touching the strands inside, you can see them kind of hidden down in there. You take this individual LC connector and you spin it. Spin it right around. Blop. Let's see if I can do it without messing it up. There you go. And then on the other side, you spin the little tab depression piece down as well. All right. Then we take the kind of this outside body and we now slide it back on and we put this little back door flat back in and then if you look in this little opening you can see there's an X so that's an indicator that we've crossed it we've swapped send and receive and now it will plug straight in like normal with send and receive swapped pretty ingenious very clever and it still functions like it normally would, although you can easily see the visual indicator. So I don't have a price on these guys. I don't know what they look like uh, as far as when they hit the street. Uh, really interesting product, though, uh, especially for people with big fat fingers. Thanks.